What's up, nerds? I'm Wes. I'm Tom. We're Never Board Gaming, and today we're taking a look at the Engines of War expansion for Castle Planet. You my, put your phone. My phone. Get, it's the table slanted, and it's. Oh, it needs. Yeah, to, see? Oh, that. that. So Engines of War is an expansion to the base game of Castle Panic, and if you have not yet seen our thoughts on the base game of Castle Panic or any of the other expansions, we'll put links to all of those in the description box down below. We're just going to be talking about this bad boy. There's going to be purchase links down there too, but we say that at the end. So Engines of War is another one of these small box expansions for Castle Panic. So it doesn't really change a whole lot, it just adds like one or two things to the base game if you're getting tired of it to mix it up a little bit. And obviously the biggest thing that it does is add the Engines of War, which really have this oh. resource. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's why they call it that. Oh man! By Engines of War, it's these you know resource cards that you use to build bigger engines. That you know, other things that can fight back the monsters in different ways and more you know more hardcore ways. And the monsters yeah. also have a few engines and new people. Yeah, as well. so, yeah. So they add some more stuff to that. Not but, actual engines, like they didn't discover how to use fossil fuels to like move. They have cars like siege and towers and. Stuff. and you know, engines is a relative word. Well, it's engines of war. Oh. So they don't use real engines. Is of war in quotes? It's not actually a war. Engines of war. So the resource deck you add, well, the first thing you do is you take out the brick and mortar from the main deck, and it's just in this new resource deck, which really similar if you've watched the Wizard's Tower, it's just another deck you can draw cards from. And this just has the brick, the mortar, ropes, and then wood that you can then use to rebuild those walls like you would in the original version of the game. Or you can also build your keep, which lets, it's another tower you build in the middle that you can then put your catapult and your ballista on to launch things at the other dudes and fight back from your main tower. And then there's all these little traps so you can throw in empty spaces that stop them or fling them back or do fun stuff. So it's mostly that some other monster tokens that you mixed in that make it a little bit more hard hardcore, but at the end of the day, that's it. Mm -hmm. And then, again, it does add a few more new monsters, which all the expansions add. Some, it's, and they're no like just regular monsters. It's one of like the bosses that there's an effect when it hits the board, or as long as it's in play, it has an effect. So there's a few more of those to add, which I feel like at this point isn't like, oh, there's a new monster. It's just mm -hmm. all the expansions add something to mix it up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's almost like you pull it out and you're like, well, what does this do? Okay, I mean, some of them yeah. are clever. One of them doesn't let you trade while it's on the board. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's a little bit, it's still just more of the same. Interesting mm -hmm. and fun, but more of the same. It Not mixes it up a little bit, but doesn't mm -hmm. really, like, drastically change the game. Sure. The thing, the other thing it does add is the little, like, I guess the engines, the encampments for the bad guys that, right, right. you know, help guys move faster or... Yeah, so some of the tokens that you draw out can just go up on the on the board and they never move. One, the most significant one is the barracks, mm -hmm. where it lands on a spot and then from then on, 50% of all the monsters you draw will come out of the barracks. So you're, they're only going to come out of five or only going to come out of six, so you really, really need to use the blue cards or the, one, or the red cards or whatever. So that is probably the biggest, that's probably the token that has the biggest effect on the gameplay. And, and those tokens are really necessary because really the only way to fight those is to build your keep and then put the catapult and the ballista on it because otherwise you can't hit it. Because they're in the forest ring. Because they're in the forest ring. And again, because of that, like besides that, you don't really ever need to build the keep. Like I feel like it's nice to have sometimes. Like it gives you a little bit bigger weapons to use against the guy, the bad guys. But in a lot of games, you don't really need them. I really do feel like this expansion, it, it wanted to add, it wanted to add like a whole nother thing. It wanted to add a whole separate resource management aspect to it, other things you could build that do really, really cool stuff. But the stuff that it did wasn't that cool, isn't that significant. Like the fact that you have to build the keep first slows you down a little bit. The catapult and the ballista both do, while they do good things, they're not, you know, game changers. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the small traps and stuff you build are fun, but, you know, when you go to draw cards, I'm nine times out of ten going to draw from the castle deck yeah. and not from the resources. Or if you're like, playing with like, the Wizard's Tower expansion. Yeah, oh, if, so you, like, if you're mixing more yeah. multiple expansions. I, and I actually did play with everything mixed together. Kind of. I, we didn't use the actual, we didn't use the Barkle Barkle dude from the Dark Titan, but we used some of the tokens just because, you know, they were cool and fun. Um... But yeah, we like we're drawing from the engines of war at first just to kind of get the flavor and, and build a few things. We built the we built like the ballista, 
And then that's it. From then on out, we only ever drew from the castle deck. Because, well, again, it's interesting and cool, but I feel, felt like they just slightly missed the mark. You know what I mean? Yeah. The things were a little bit easier to build. They were a little bit more powerful. And I do. I will say that because with like, the keep and the catapult and the ballista, you're able to contribute to that multiple turns. Mm -hmm. Like the one turn, like, I really want to build the keep this turn just to build it because we're trying to review it. So obviously we're trying to trigger the things that this expansion mm -hmm. adds. So I just kept drawing cards from that deck and I kept getting like mortar, 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 mortar. I'm like, well, this is, this is the worst because now not only do I just not have any cards I can use, but now my hand is completely clogged up with these cards. So maybe if you like started that from round one, you know, there are ways that you could strategically use it, but I just, I don't really think it's incredibly necessary. Now, the only thing I will say in contrary to that, though, is we only ever play Castle Panic. Like, like in general, all, mm -hmm. every, with every expansion and, and everything, we always play it with a small number of players. Two and three, and yeah. sometimes four. It does go up to six. So it could potentially be more useful in, like, a six-player game where if you have one dude who is just focusing mainly on doing that... And, okay, while granted his turn is going to suck because he can't really hit anything, that, that's something that just happens, sometimes it just happens anyways, uh, but, but furthermore, like, he can focus on that and everybody else can do their thing. Yeah, but also if you're playing a six-player game, each person only gets two cards, so do you really want to clutter those two cards up with these resources that may not do anything? You may just continue to get combinations that don't really help you at all. So, it, again, I really think that this is made to be an afterthought that everyone kind of contributes slowly towards until you build it. Mm -hmm. Which, again, if that's what your focus is, I can see it being beneficial. And if, like, the barracks comes up around one, I can definitely see it saying, all right, we got to get this thing built so we can fight back. But if it doesn't come out until later, I almost see it as, like, let's just hope for the best and see what happens. I think the best way for you to fix this expansion would be to play it as not, not like the Wizard's Tower where you have the option to draw, maybe, maybe you could still have the option to draw more, mm -hmm. but your hand size is increased by one, in, and your draw up phase, you always draw one resource card. I can see that if you always had a resource card in play. So and it's not clogging up your hand. Yeah, so like in a six player game, you have your two cards and then a resource card. Yeah. I, I can see how that would be beneficial. Mm -hmm. Overall, as you can tell, we didn't love this expansion. This is probably the weakest one that they've put out. Um, it's def I would definitely recommend Playing with this one, maybe, maybe purchasing this one last. So I guess, yeah, buy Wizard Tower first, then Dark Titan, then this. And just kind of like the Dark Titan, play this one solely with the base game as much as you can. When you mix it in, you're, you're probably going to start ignoring it. You're, the more you other expansions you have with this, the less you're going to even notice that this is in there. That's not to say that this is an expansion you shouldn't buy. I just suggest purchasing it last. Because some of the things are kind of interesting. I do enjoy putting down the traps. And I, I guess I kind of focus on those a little bit more. Because the, the, like, everybody focusing on building the keep and the ballista and the catapults isn't all that great. Maybe you can house rule it to where you have the extra card thing. But other than that, this is probably the expansion we're going to use the least. Still cool that we have it. But not jumping at the chance to play this every single time. I, I don't want to tell you this is a bad expansion, that you shouldn't buy it. I will say that if you are loving Castle Panic, Wizard's Tower, 100%, get it. It's fantastic. It adds a lot to the game, and it takes it to the next level. The I think that the both the small box, Engines of War and the Dark Titan, they're both fine. I think they're both good, especially if you are playing this game a lot. This is one that your game group is constantly getting to the table. They're a really nice way just to kind of change the game up a little bit. Um, I don't think that this is an expansion that I would just permanently add to the game. I think that Wizard's Tower is one that if I'm playing with experienced players, like there's no reason that I wouldn't add it. In fact, I may just like make my base box to have the Wizard's Tower already incorporated because because they're all the expansions are where you have to take stuff out and put stuff in. It's not just like plug and play. I'll probably have it set up such that the Wizard's Tower is ready to go. And if I need to play the vanilla game, we'll either get your copy of it or I'll swap it out that way because I see myself playing with the Wizard's Tower more than just the vanilla game. The Engines of War and the Dark Titan, uh, again, the Dark Titan adds like the one big bad guy is really the thing he adds. And the little stuff that he adds, like you can add that into any game. Same with this guy, like the the extra bad dudes, the the little camps like need to go with the, the keep, but everything else okay. you can or just... Or you can just play hardcore mode and you can never kill them. Yeah.
Really? So I think this is an ideal expansion for someone who plays this game all the time and needs a way to mix it up. But if you're just a casual player, then start with the Wizard's Tower and see how it goes. We're going to have links to the base game and all the expansions in the description box down below. See, I told you we'd come back to that. Anyway, okay. while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you'll never be bored. Finger guns. <laughs> I was already like ready with the finger guns. Yeah. We'll put a link to the those. We're going to have links to all of those things in the purchase we're gonna have purchase links to the base game and every single expansion in the purchase. Why?